Transitioning to Hard IP Instrumentation with Ethernet APL. Today, the hard communications protocol is used in most of the process automation plants around the world. The technology is well known, reliable, and easy to use. Today's heart based control architecture relies on devices using the 4 to 20 milliamp or wireless hard physical layers. Often, the wireless hard gateway connects to the control network with hard IP. Today, this connection is through four wire standard Ethernet. Additionally, multiplexers and remote I.O. may use RS-485 and Modbus. The diagram shown on the screen illustrates today's most common architecture. For the process automation world to transform to full digital, a physical layer is required that meets the performance and safety needs of the industry while providing the flexible networking design, speed, and security that the IT world has enjoyed for many years. Ethernet APL is that physical layer, and when coupled with hard IP, it provides the same familiarity, reliability, and ease of use that has made Hart the dominant application protocol in process automation. Ethernet APL, it's a 10 megabit per second two-wire physical layer. It's designed for installation in hazardous areas, including Zone 0, Div 1. Power to the instrument is supplied through the two-wire cable. It can, be, it, it can use standard field bus type cable, and it can support cable runs of 200 meters from instruments to switches and 1,000 meters between switches. Finally, by using Ethernet technology, the physical layer is for the first time separated from the application layer for process automation devices. More on this later. To begin the journey to Ethernet APL and avoid the very costly replacement of instruments, facilities will likely be adding switches in Ethernet APL enabled instruments to their existing plant rather than replacing existing equipment. To get started, a facility can evaluate the ease of installation and configuration offered by standard Ethernet protocol while still using 4 to 20 milliamp instrumentation. In this drawing, we've added an Ethernet APL remote I.O. system and an Ethernet APL field switch to the existing equipment. In this case, all the instruments are still hard 4 to 20 milliamp, but the connection between the remote I.O. system and the field switch is now Ethernet APL. In this next diagram, we are beginning to extend the network. As instrumentation supporting high-speed Ethernet APL becomes available, the plant can take advantage of the speed, hazardous area installation, and two-wire plus power advantages of the Ethernet APL physical layer. In this drawing, we've added a wireless hard gateway powered by the Ethernet APL field switch to the system in Zone 2, Div 2. We've also added in two sophisticated Ethernet APL enabled instruments, a positioner and flow meter in Zone 1, Div 2. Both are powered from the Ethernet APL field switch installed in the first phase of the project. As confidence with Ethernet APL and hard IP grows, a facility can start extending their network to additional instrumentation and into even more hazardous areas. This final diagram extends the network and adds in two new product types. The first is an Ethernet APL power switch, which can provide power to multiple field switches installed in the hazardous area. Finally, we've added an IP-enabled imager into Zone 0, Div 1. Why? Well, earlier in this presentation, we pointed out that Ethernet APL is just a specialized version of Ethernet. So, any Ethernet APL device that can be connected to a switch can be physically recognized on the network. It has an IP address. It then becomes the job of higher level software to make use of the data, in this case an imager, supplied by the device. This imager drives home the point that deploying Ethernet APL opens up the opportunity for coexistence of devices on a single network that can support many application layers. Perhaps the temperature, pressure, and level devices support hard IP. Drives may use Profinet. Analyzers may use Ethernet IP. And new devices for monitoring and op optimization applications like the Imager do not even use a traditional automation protocol. Consider the possibilities and begin the journey to Ethernet APL with hard IP. It's fast, it's flexible, it's seamless, and it's secure.